Sound like fun? You'll have to abandon everything you think you know. Logic will not serve you here. Give yourself over to experience. Then again, you don't have a choice, do you? Not if you want to find that baby. <laughs> as long as we're breaking the rules, she's gone. I'm sorry. We knew it was coming. She had terminal cancer. It's one of the reasons why Stephen told me not to get too attached. It was literally impossible not to. I only met Shirley tonight, but it only took me a few minutes to see what a special person she was. And that sense of humor, I mean, I guess when you're facing cancer, you need to laugh in order not to cry. You know, she never felt sorry for herself. And she never let the fact that she was dying interfere with the time she had left. She didn't live her life in fear. And she wouldn't want me to either. I can't, I can't stand here and think about all the terrible things that could be happening. I have to go find Aiden. Elizabeth, you don't know? I'm sorry, it's all over the hospital. Franco took him. I need a gurney in here! What happened? He took two of the chests, that's all I know. Triage as best you can, try to keep his vitals stable. Well, it would be a lot easier with some supplies. Oh, Where the hell is out. everybody? He's bleeding out. Fine, some lap pads and an ambi bag. We need to keep him breathing. Now, Maya. Oh, come on, Ethan. Stay with me. I lost his pulse. Start chest compressions. Maya! I can't keep pressure on the wound and restart his heart. You have to help me. <laughs> Olivia, I need you. What? What, what do I do? What do I do? Put your hand right here. Okay. Try to keep him complete. I got it. I got it. How are we doing over there, Matt? His pulse is getting weak. He's losing a lot of blood. If I don't get some supplies up here soon, I'm going to be calling it. Maya, look, I know this is a lot for you to take in. You're just an intern. But I promise you can't mess this up. All you got to do Let's go over to the desk, pick up the phone, and get us some help. Maya! Christina, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Focus on me. This can't be happening. This can't be real. Mr. Bauer, can't hurt you anymore. Christina, I won't let him. Michael, get down to the ER. Tell him three people have been shot. We need gurneys and life packs. Stat! Okay, look, I'll be right back. Don't look. Some help over here. What do you mean? Where is this girl? Is here. 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 You listen to me. This was not your fault. Mr. Bauer wanted to kill me because I lied. And if Michael hadn't pushed me out of the way, I would be dead. Michael too. was here? Mr. Bauer had the gun aimed right at him. Where is he? Come on, Ethan. Damn it. Stay with me. No, no Ethan on, can't die. You have to save him. We're doing our best, honey. I'm gonna, I'll take you from here. Michael! Oh my god! Hold it, hold it. The bullet nicked his crotch. Okay. How long has okay. he been down? Look. Okay, on my count, move wrong. Okay, one. No, 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 we can't move him yet. What are you talking about? We need to get him in the surgery so we can repair the damage. If we don't get him stable, repairing the damage is the least of our problems. Wait. Can't? I mean, yes, we need. Mac? How bad? How bad? He's in hypovolemic shock. We're still trying to get him stable. Thank you. All right, so they're prepping Ethan. Do you want me to scrub in? Yeah, Epiphany, too. I'll put Sydney on your team. OR3, I'm right behind you. OK, well, I'll page go, Epiphany, go, go. but all of the floors are locked down by the cops, and we might have to just grab whatever nurses are. I want the get. strongest people we have assisting on these surgeries. Mm -hmm. If the police give you trouble, tell them the commissioner's life is at stake. Every second they waste is a second we can be in there trying to save them. 
But you are going to save him, right? Hey, Chief Dr. Hunter. Dr. Gary Clark. I'm going to do my best. Matt, please, I can't run to catch up with you. I have to scrub. Your dad is in bad shape. Save him. I'm going to do my best. Mac is the only family that I have left. Seriously. I mean, he's always been there for me, no matter what awful thing that I have done to him, and that says a lot. I haven't been half the daughter that he deserves, but he loves me no matter what, and I love him more than anything. So don't just save him for me, save him for Robin, because she needs him just as much as I do. But please do better than your best. Tell me my... Mac is going to be fine. He has to be. He... I can't. <laughs> he... He has to be all right. Look, if he were going to leave us, he would have done it a long time ago. And it would have been for some tropical island, not a sterile OR without an umbrella drink in sight. <laughs> he has dealt with so much with the two of us. Vacation's a really good idea. We could pitch in and send him to one of those singles resorts. <laughs> or trick Alexis to go with him. You know, I really, I have not given up on the idea of those two together. I've been so selfish. I've only argued with Mac or taken him for granted. Mac knows how much we love him. No, lately I've only been around when I needed something. I'm so caught up with myself that I feel like I've been missing what's right in front of me. Yeah, between Emma and work, I just hardly see him anymore. Well, I'm praying that Matt is as brilliant as he says he is. And we will have the chance to show Mac how much we care about him. Assist. How is he? He's a mess. Bullets did a lot more damage than I thought. All right. Tell me what you need. Well, he's losing blood a lot faster than we can hang it. So, let me figure out where he's losing it from. Okay. <laughs> 